welcome. This is Reels Kitchen, aka Small Space, Small Kitchenette. Um, let's get cooking, shall we? Got some uh, beautiful coffee mate music in the background. All I'm missing is a glass of wine, but I'm gonna leave that right there. Um, today in my smokeless grill, we are going to make um, a top sirloin steak. Um, and the reason why I'm making this is because one of my students um, told me to do something nice for myself. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show it to you uh, how, I, how I cook it. Now, this is going to be the first time I make it because uh, I, haven't, I haven't cooked steaks in my smokeless grill. So let's start cooking dinner, shall we? All right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. You know, I'm afraid of these knives. <laughs> you know, at one point in my life, um, I was vegan. I couldn't stand to eat meat. And uh, that got old very quickly. I only lasted a year. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off. This has a lot of blood, so. All right, so normally, um, Spanish cultures, what they do is they put everything but the kitchen sink. Um, today, I'm not gonna do that. And I'm only going to use this bold and zesty savory barbecue rub. Now, some people may ask you, but that's a steak. I got this from um, a student of mine that said she bought it at Aldi and she didn't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and use it on this steak. And even though it's a dry rub, this is the only thing that I'm going to use. I'm not going to use anything else. Okay. Again, I'm doing something nice for me because I don't normally eat steak. I don't normally eat um, anything like that for that matter. Um, I only eat what's given to me. And uh, I'm going to try this. Normally, we, like I said, we cook everything and, you know, um, we, we add adobo, sazon, or whatever. But I'm going to just keep this simple. All right. Okay, so in my grill, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of avocado oil. Oh, this is hot. I didn't realize the handle got hot like that. Okay. I tried to hold it, but I couldn't. Um, okay. All right. So I could tell that this is hot. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. And I'm going to put this meat. Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. So while that's being cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my salads. All right. I realize that. Yeah, I know I got a small space, so I gotta keep this really clean. I don't like messes, especially living in a small I almost died. <laughs> living in a small area, um, you want to try to keep your space clean. Plus, it just motivates you to cook your next meal. I know some people, um, what they do is they... Uh, 
they say, oh, I don't want to make a mess. I don't want to dirty anything. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm jobless. And um, I'm going to make my food. <laughs> that smells delicious. Wow, it smells good. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, some peas. Because... I don't want to eat um, rice or beans or anything like that. So I'm just going to open up a can of peas. Again, everything that I am cooking or preparing is um, donated. So I'm really grateful that I even have food to cook. And I'm sorry if the camera is a little off, but I was having a hard time trying to just take it out a little bit. I always drain um, any liquids out when it comes to canned foods. Um, I never like leaving liquids in food. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of this um, peas and half a cup of this is 80 calories um, and four grams of protein. So I'm just gonna take a little bit half a cup and I'm gonna place it in the grill okay just so it could heat up a little bit instead of putting it in the microwave because that's what people have a tendency of doing is putting stuff in the microwave and I don't like doing that so I'm gonna take the rest of these peas hopefully they'll fit in here no they won't I'm gonna put them in here and I'm gonna put them straight in the refrigerator so they don't go bad. Okay. If you haven't already seen, I'm a little thirsty so I'm gonna go ahead and drink some of this juice. I made some carrot grapefruit juice this morning and it was really good. Because I am fiending for a glass of wine, I'd rather just drink this. Let me go ahead and get started with this salad. And, um, this is the last of my um, donated salad, so I'm gonna make use of it. Believe that. All right, so I'm gonna cut the first layer off. Cause people are like, oh, that's getting welded. But you know what? It is fine to me. Get rid of this. Cause you know, in other countries, there are people dying of food and they would really love this right here. But I'm not going to eat it because um, I'm trying to make a, um, a nice salad that I can enjoy with the peas. I'm only going to make a little bit. I'm not going to make much. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this off. I'm going to put the rest of it away. I like to cut it really fine. I don't know if you can see it, but. And this is normally the way I make it if I was to make tacos, so. All right. So I cut that up. Go ahead and put that away. I am loving this music. I wanted to put something on that I might not get um, <laughs> shunned for, because that's how Facebook, uh, YouTube is. That looks amazing. I'll go ahead and raise the temperature. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I've never used this before, but 
I have it, so might as well. I guess it's a solid dryer spinner. I don't know. I don't know how to use it, so this will be my first time. It looks like common sense, but I guess you... Oh, okay. And it takes the water out. I guess you put it down when you're doing that. <laughs> okay. Being she. Oh, it's dry. Open it. have to cut the um, lettuce just a little bit more um, thicker though so it doesn't fall through the cracks it did collect the water though that's pretty cool yeah note to self when you're um, spinning salad or lettuce in a lettuce spinner you have to cut it thick all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side I'm gonna go and cut my cucumber, rinse this off. You tell me, but you're cutting it in the same cutting board. Why are you always rinsing? These are things that people actually do ask me, believe it or not. Um, I'm supposed to rinse everything off. All right, so this is the last of my tomatoes. Um, they are going bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and use them up. Um, just because they're wilted doesn't mean that you can't use them. They're still very, um, you can eat them, so some people are bougie, I'm not. All right, uh, I'm just gonna cut some of the parts off that I'm not going to eat and just include that in my salad. I hope you guys can see that. And again, I'm not being choosy, it's just that, um, you know, eating, I eat salads almost every day, so it kind of, you know, sometimes when you just want to have a shake or you just want to have some juice and don't feel like preparing nothing, you know. I get like that sometimes. I don't always eat healthy. I eat what I have in moderation. And that's why I don't gain any weight. Eighty percent of everything that I do is, you know, for my um, for health reasons, you know. And when you see me cooking other things like rice pudding or, um, you know, something sweet, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm eating it. <laughs> I can taste it, but um, you know, I'll make it and give it to somebody else. There are people that are not health conscious and they eat whatever they want. So that already looks pretty. All right, so I'm gonna cut some of this cucumber. Um, I particularly like um, the English cucumber. It's crunchier. Um, I can never get tired of eating this. I could literally eat this right out the bag, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm only gonna open up until, uh, you know, what I'm gonna be using. You don't need to cut them um, that thick. I like them thin. I love these knives. I'm just so scared of them. I am not going to lie. Terrified of them. I am loving this music. Cucumbers, of course, I always gotta spill everything. Look. And then I'm gonna close this back up. Let me check the steak. Okay. I'm gonna rinse this again. 
No. This is the reason why um, I keep it real and I don't edit anything so you guys can see. Hey, you know, things happen. We drop stuff. We have bloopers. Um, I want people to see. God, this looks good. I can eat this just like this with my hands. Set that to the side. And then I'm going to cut some cilantro. You ask me, well, why are you putting cilantro in your salad? Well, it makes it taste good. It's a green and gives it, I don't know, it's just something about that extra crunchiness. And I'm only going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put that much. This music is giving me a sense of peace right now. All right, so I'm gonna take this cilantro. I'm just gonna sprinkle it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a little garnish. It's very wet. If it would go in the bowl and not get stuck on my fingers, I would really appreciate it. <sighs> All right, so I'm done cutting. Here's the salad. I'm gonna check this steak. And I actually like this contraption because the stuff doesn't get stuck on there. So. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down for a second. And I'm going to cut just a little bit of the steak. Because if I don't, it's not going to, it's not going to cook very well. Oh, that looks good. Okay. This is a treat. Um, and I cannot wait to try it. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this off and you know with every um, good dinner you know it's time consuming you know it could be a couple minutes or what have you I could have I could finish this in 30 minutes I'm um, gonna put this away and I'm actually going to use some I knew I took it out Lime. Cut that lime in half. Actually, you know what? I have a lime already cut. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Glad I remembered. Because I don't like to waste anything. I'm 
take this lime and I'm gonna I do not use salad dressing okay I like to use lime I'm actually gonna put some in here as well I'm gonna crush this juice again this is a a carrot uh, grapefruit juice and uh, I made this this morning I don't like to waste nothing This one away and as you can see that is cooking very nicely and because I have such a small space I'm gonna put this stuff away take a shower and change um, to cook I just finished doing um, a Zumba class and uh, just wanted to make sure I had my um, my food oh avocado spray you can also put a little bit of my crack the garlic salt which I put on everything Amazing. All right, and set that to the side. I wish you can smell this um the steak. So because I don't know how to cook steak like that, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it because I don't want it to be overdone overcooked oh my god So that's almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take put this to the side so I'm going to cut those pieces of steak for now. I'm so glad you guys are here cooking with me. Doesn't make me feel weird that um It doesn't make me feel weird that I'm cooking by myself or that I'm talking to myself because I know that there are people listening. Um all right, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this piece out. And I am going, it has, ooh, it smells so good. And I'm gonna cut it diagonally. God, it is perfectly cooked. I love this machine. It tastes like something that I literally cooked outside. And even though this was a dry rub, 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try to be all fancy with it and put it on my plate. I work out a lot, so I can have more than four ounces of steak, or meat for that matter. Okay, so this is done. And this is actually done too. Turn that off. I'm very happy at how this turned out. Um, this was a treat for me, and um, mm. Mm. you know, I'm always dropping stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a couple more pieces of steak. I'm gonna set this to the side. And I'm gonna show you how I set my plate because a lot of people say, well, I gotta have this and I gotta have that. And people just don't realize. No, you don't. You don't. Folks are always asking me, how do you keep your weight? How do you keep your weight? I'm showing you. I'm showing you. It's no secret. It saved my life. Y'all just don't understand the stuff that I used to go through. And actually, I'm... I'm only gonna have this is about maybe three ounces have it making all fancy spancy my dinner yay three ounces of um, peas um, a salad cucumbers cherry tomato iceberg lettuce and that's about four ounces of steak mm, four and a half so that's my dinner thank you for cooking with me and uh, keeping me company and if you have any questions or you know you want me to cook something and I have it please let me know comment below like share and um, I'm gonna go ahead and sit down and enjoy this before it's too late have a good one um, we're still living in the pandemic um, you know COVID is still active stay home enjoy yourself a meal like this stay home make it yourself and uh, you'll appreciate it even more. Plus, there'll be more time with your family because you never know um, when anything can happen to any one of us. So, have a good night. Bye.